I am Anil Kumar and here is a test multiple choice question on trigonometry. The question is evaluate exact value of cos 20 degrees times cos 40 degrees times cos 60 degrees times cos 80 degrees. Four choices are given to you. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So before we begin, uh, we'll look into a couple of things. We know what is cos 60 degrees. You can also work with the, the right triangle. Of, for 60 degrees, the ratio of the sides are 1 is to 2 is to square root of 3, and cos 60 is half, right? So we know cos of 60 degrees is half. So we can always replace this with half. So let's see how to evaluate. So we are given cos of 20 degrees times cos of 40 degrees times cos of 60 degrees times cos of 80 degrees. Since cos of 60 degrees is half, we could write this as equal to half of cos of 20 degrees cos of 40 degrees times cos of 80 degrees. Now, the trick involved here is We'll use the formula sine 2a or sine 2 theta formulas. Let me write down the formula somewhere here. Uh, sine 2 theta is equals to 2 sine theta cos theta. Now this is a key formula which will help you solve this particular question. Now to get this term 2 sine theta cos theta, we can actually multiply and divide by 2 sine 20 to begin with. So we have 1 over 2, so we'll, we'll divide by the term 2 sine 20 degrees, we'll multiply by 2 sine 20 degrees and uh, this is in the denominator. In the numerator also we have to multiply by this term, so we get 2 times sine 20 degrees and then we'll copy the same thing which is cos 20 degrees, cos 40 degrees cos 80 degrees. Now that is a key step here. Correct? So you could now write this as 1 over 4 sine 20 degrees, right? And here we get 2 sine 20 cos 20 which could be written as sine 40 degrees. So, so now these two terms these two terms can be combined. So when you combine them you get sine of 40 degrees, correct? And here we already have cos of 40 degrees and cos of 80 degrees. Now, to get a factor of 2 again, what we can do is we can again multiply and divide by 2. Do you see that? So it becomes 2 sine A cos A, right? So now again, we'll apply the same formula, which results into 1 over 8 times sine of 20 degrees, right? In the numerator, 2 sine 40 cos 40 gives us sine of 80 degrees and we already have cos of 80 degrees, correct? Okay? Now since we have cos of 80 degrees, we can again multiply and divide by 2 and that gives us 1 over 2 times 8 is 16 sine of 20 degrees and the numerator now becomes which is 2 sine 80 cos 80 as twice 80 which is sine of 160 degrees. Do you see that? Now sine of 160 degrees could be written as what? Sine of 160 degrees can be written as sine of 180 degrees minus 20 degrees and using our relation which is now you can see that that we have a triangle here let's compare these two triangles correct so when we say 180 minus 20 which is this angle so this acute angle is 20 degrees same as here now clearly we could write sine 180 degrees minus 20 degrees as so we have 16 sine 20 degrees and that is also sine 20 degrees correct sine 20 degrees and then we can cancel these off 
leaving us with with 1 over 16 so 1 over 16 is indeed the correct answer so that is how you could figure it out well there is a general formula for such kind of series also which if you know can help you find the answer but i hope these steps are straightforward and clear to understand feel free to share your comments and views and if you like and subscribe that'll be great thank you and all the best